Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, or welcome to my channel. I'm Adriana, and today, guys, I'm going to be reading a book called The Royal Drum. And today, I'm here with a special guest, my grandma. And we are going to be reading together and taking turns on reading a page. So before we get started, I want you guys to find a nice, comfortable spot to listen to the book. And we are on the couch, and it's very comfortable for us. So yeah, now let's get started. The Royal Drum retold by Mary Dixon Lake, illustrated by Carol O'Malley. The Royal Drum. Okay, so before we get started on actually reading, we are going to be reading a note about the story first. A note about the story this tale is from the Ashanti tribe of Ghana. Their famous folklore spider, Anasi, is also called Kwaku Anasi, Nancy, or sometimes Father Spider. He is known for his tricks, which can get him into trouble, but he also likes to help his friends. That is so sweet. Okay, and also before we start, we're going to be reading a key to Reba's characters. So I'm gonna read my side of characters and my grandma is gonna read her side of characters. So we're not gonna be these exact characters, we're just gonna show you what are the characters that are gonna be in this book. Okay, so I'm gonna start off by reading the characters over here. So it looks like we have Anasi, the spider, which they called Father Spider over here. We have the king, which is the lion. It looks like he's going to be the main character of the story if he's the king. We've got elephant, which is just an elephant. We have got leopard and jackal. Grandma, why don't you go ahead and read your side? Giraffe, the antelope, hippo, the drum, and monkey. Very good, now let's get started on reading. So since my grandma is our guest, she is gonna start off by reading first. So why don't you go ahead and start reading? One day, the king called a meeting. A meeting, a meeting. The king calls a meeting. The messengers spread the news. All the animals heard the cry. And why don't we take a moment to look at the picture. Look at these huge pages. They are so detailed and I love how the illustrator did the pictures. It's just amazing. Hurry, hurry, hurry they said as they set out at great speed. It took many days before they finally reached the king's palace. Thank you for coming, the king said, for I need your help. We have a big problem. Problem, trumpeted elephant. Problem, whispered giraffe. Problem, growled jackal. Yes, yes, cried the king. And who can solve it? For too many days pass before we come together. Yes, too many, agreed Chira. Too, too many, say Antelope. Far too many, answered Hippo. We must make a change, say the king. Yes, a change, say Elephant. A definite change, agree, giraffe. Indeed, a change, replay, jackal. We must find a way to send a message immediately, the king said. Anasi stepped up. Pip, 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 pip. Pip, pip, pip. He had been listening to everything. He was counselor to the king. After thinking carefully, he said, What we need is a royal drum. Its sounds will travel everywhere. Then we will all come at once. This is wonderful, exclaimed Leopard. Brilliant, remarked Antelope. Wise, said Hippo. It shall be done, ordered the king. The animals quickly began working. Each took a turn in the making of the royal drum. 
Elephant found a log in the jungle and carried it. Mum, mum, mum. Giraffe trimmed the branches. Kutsu, 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 kutsu. Termites hollowed it out and carved it. Chum, 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 chum. Chata, cha, 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 cha. Chum, chum, chum. Everyone was busy. Busy, busy, busy. That it. Everyone except monkey. Why are all the animals working? Monkey slept in the shabby spot. When the animals finished work, they sang. Monkey joined in and sang of his tiredness too. At last, the drum was ready, and this was the sound it made. Kra-ka-ka hi, ki yo ki yo. Kra-ka-ka hi, ki yo ki yo. The animals hopped on one foot, then on the other. Okay. Yo, yo, yo. Cried the king, bring the drum to my palace. Who should carry the drum? Asked Anansi. The drum was very heavy and large. The distance was too far, too far. No one wanted to carry the drum. Leopard said, giraffe shall have the honor. For she's the most graceful. No, say giraffe. Antelope should carry it, for he is so fast. Why? Elephant is strong and should do it. Replay antelope. Each animal named another to another to carry the drum. Finally, said Anasi, no one wants to carry the drum. I think the one who is most lazy should carry it. Yes, yes, agreed the king. What a fine idea. All the animals looked at each other. Who is the lazy one? Each animal thought one by one. Each animal looked at Monkey. Monkey jumped and hopped, jumped and hopped. All the animals were looking at him. Guys, why do you think everyone was looking at Monkey? And why do you think Monkey started hopping and jumping? Well, I guess we'll find out on the next page. So let's see. Bus, Monkey said. I will never, never carry the drum. Never. And that is all I will say. The animals laughed. <laughs> no one called you. Your name, monkey, said Jackal. No one asked you to carry the drum, said Hippo. The animals all agreed. Indeed, no one say a word to you. I will not, I will not carry the drum, Monkey cried again and stamped his feet. All the animals still laughed. Kai, 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 Anasi told the king. No one called Monkey's name. Everyone was thinking, who is lazy, lazy, lazy? They did not say, but Monkey knew. He told them he would not carry the drum. He then is the laziest of all. Oh no, he's gonna get to carry the drum now. <laughs> and so to take the drum from the jungle to the palace of the king, it was Monkey who carried it. Oh my gosh, guys, look at how big that drum is and look at poor Monkey, but he shouldn't have been lazy. Well, 
I hope Monkey in the book learned a lesson, though, not to ever be lazy again. The end. So, guys, I hope you all enjoyed the reading we did today. I know this was a very big book, and it was it is really interesting. I hope it was very interesting for you, and I hope you enjoyed it. And I will try to put the book link in the description box below so that you can purchase it as well. And I will see you on Friday for Frito Friday. Bye, guys. Love you all. I'm out for now. Adrienne.